So once you've finished the sunflower, leave it for about three hours. So we're now ready to uh, take this and uh, turn this over. And this one actually has dried longer so that it will be dry for me to put the calyx on. But so you leave it about three hours. And then what you would do is you just carefully take out the sponge pieces, all right? And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna just turn it over, just straighten out your wire like this. You're gonna take it off, remember, after about three hours, of course, the inside petals would have been sort of semi-dry. And then what I've done here is I've just used a plastic bowl. You could use a, a, like just a cereal bowl, basically. It doesn't have to be plastic, it can be a metal bowl, glass bowl. And what I've done is just put a piece of sponge on the top. So like a cosmetic sponge is actually perfect. And then what you would then do is you just would lay the sunflower on the top. Now we don't need to worry about the gaps here because this will all be covered because it has a large calyx on it. All right, so when I do the, if you watch my Gerber Daisy, I would actually fill that in with some paste. But as I said on the sunflower, it has a huge calyx so that will cover everything up uh, here. So then what you would do is then you leave this for about another um, four to six hours, all right, depending on humidity level. And again, you could put this in a food dehydrator that would really speed that up because in the foil former, the back doesn't really dry. So that's why you need to take it out. Now, um, so this one is actually totally dry. So this actually was made yesterday. So obviously I've got this uh, ready to put the calyx on, all right? Now, when we make the calyx, we're gonna do that very similar to the second option I showed for the petals. I'm going to be using the 70 millimeter and 90 millimeter cutter, which is the small and medium size of the three cutters, okay? So this is the two smallest sizes. And what I've done here is I've rolled out some green paste. I'm using here um, the green uh, flower modeling paste, or you could, of course, color white paste with some, like a moss green, gooseberry color, whatever green you have. And, um, what I'm going to do here is going to cut out. So you actually will cut out two of the um, nine, 90 millimeter ones. So two of these and one of these. All right. So I'm just going to cut this out. I'm just going to pop this out. And then you will then cut out, obviously, another one of these and then also one of the small ones. All right. So two medium and one small. I've already got the others cut out. So I'm going to take my excess paste. And then what I'm going to do here is going to just. Uh, pop my excess paste back into the bag. And just like I showed the sunflower petals, we're now gonna take the cutter, all right? So you're just gonna line the cutter up, all right? So to try and make that as sort of symmetrical as possible, all right? And so remember, don't worry if it's just a little bit off because as I said, it just take, but you see how what this does, this is a really cool way to create this daisy shaped and you can use this technique, for example, for succulents. Um, you can use this for all different types of flowers, fantasy flowers, you know, applique flowers. Um, so it's a really cool way to use your Flower Pro Blossom cutters we use obviously for roses and things in a different way. So now what we're gonna do is gonna put this onto um, like a foam pad, all right? So you can put it onto a foam pad, you could put it onto a piece of fun foam, or you could put it even onto just regular foam as well. So basically just, well this is not because we're gonna be using the Dresden tool, we can do this on a firmer foam. And uh, what we're gonna do here is gonna put this onto pad here. This is a little bit big for the small mini pad, all right? So this is a little bit larger than the small mini pad, but as I said, just a, if you don't have a regular flower pad, you could just use a piece of foam or a piece of fun foam. And then with my Dresden tool, which is the wider end of my tool here, I'm just going to just gently come from the outside about halfway down, from the tip coming down, like this, like this, okay? All right, so you're just gonna do this. And then what we're gonna do is going to put this onto a piece of foam with a large hole, same one I used to build the flower. I'm gonna actually just put this on top of my thick piece of foam. And I'm gonna take this, and I'm now gonna turn this upside down, all right? Because we're gonna build the calyx from the inside out, okay? So you see, so I've Dresden tooled it and I've turned it upside down. You're then gonna take your second one, okay? It's so gonna take your second one, which would be your second medium size one. Okay, exactly the same technique. Then what we're gonna do is gonna brush some egg white. So you're gonna brush egg white into that middle area here. So you're gonna come up about a third of the way up the petals, okay? So you're gonna come about a third of the way up the petal length here. And then you're gonna take then your second one, and this is gonna sit in between these petals, just like building a daisy, okay? So we're just gonna pop these, these in between like this, you see? 
and then we're going to then do here again about the same amount it's going to come about a third of the way up the pedals because we want to make sure these sort of stick fairly well and then we're going to take then the small one all right so this is a seven centimeter one and this is going to go in the same position as the first one and because these are on it you can let this slide a little bit as desired all right but you can imagine this just looks like a succulent okay so if you made these in different sizes cut them did a little center part there you have basically a quick little succulent so it's a very super technique to use for i said lots of different flowers so now what i'm going to do is going to take this all right i'm going to turn it over because ultimately the smaller calyx will be on the underneath, okay? So you're gonna turn this over onto here like so. And then I'm gonna use a, this is a um, jumbo balling tool. So this is what we call that extra, extra large balling tool. So you're just gonna just cup with that. So you see how I've actually got that onto a thicker piece of foam, uh, which is a soft foam. And so what that does, that helps to really just push these all together and just hollows the middle. Now alternatively, if you didn't have that, you could just do this with your rolling pin, all right? So you can just take your rolling pin and just cup it with your rolling pin as well. So either of those techniques will work. Now, what we're now gonna do is you're gonna brush egg white on that first calyx, pretty much all over that. Just almost bring a line of egg white down the center of this one. Because this is gonna be a fitted calyx, all right? So you need to actually make sure that's brushed all the way down uh, there like so okay now you're going to take your sunflower so remember this sunflower i have here obviously is totally dry but if you were doing this you know you take it out of the former you leave it obviously until it's dry um so you know four to six hours or overnight straighten out your wire and again we're going to now take the center here just going to bring this up just going to just sit onto the back of the flower and you're going to flip your flower upside down now you're just going to just press this on so you see the first part the obviously the layer that's closest to the flower that's going to be totally fitted and then again you're just going to just take some small sponge pieces and with some small sponge pieces going to take your small sponge pieces i'm just going to just put these underneath not not every one but just underneath a couple of the uh, calyx. So in the uh, calyx here, I'm just going to put this underneath. So this has got obviously like 10, 10 little parts here. I'm just going to put this under. So I'm actually just going to sort of like alternate this. So what this does, this will just give you a more natural look for the calyx. Because the calyx of the sunflower is multiple layers. And this will be the the last one here okay and then what we would then do is you would bring in your drying rack so you bring in your large drying rack here now this is a pretty substantial wire so you just obviously have to because remember that's six 18 gauge wires so we're just going to now hang this upside down um, and we're going to leave this hanging upside down and that needs to dry for about two to three hours all right and then we'll be ready to move on to the coloring and ultimately finishing off of the sunflower so now we're going to move on to the fun part, which is bringing the sunflower to life. So I'm going to actually use a sunflower colored dust, so sort of an orangey, sort of a peachy color. And um, so I'm going to use that. But you, of course, sunflowers vary a lot. You know, some sunflowers even have more like a burgundy color on them. So this is said is a sort of an orangey uh, color. And, uh, you know, depending, of course, what variety you're making or what color you're going to do would depend on the dust. Of course, the Internet, you know, you can look, do a search. Um, for uh, colors. So with the sunflower, I've already done some of this. I'm going to use this color and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to just gently brush around the edge of the petals. So I'm going to do this on all of the top petals with the, I'm using a larger brush like this. I will also do this on the bottom petals as well. So I just have a couple here to do. So you're just going to go around. So you just brush in sort of on the edge of the petal just carefully in case you do that all the way around. Then I'm going to change out to a smaller flat brush. And with a smaller flat brush, I'm going to then do a stripe. So what I'm actually going to do here, I'm going to just sort of come from inside the pedal, and I'm just going to just sort of brush a stripe down the 
center of the petal there like so. So you see how you're gonna get this stripe, stripe effect on the petals. I'm gonna do this also on the back as well. So on the back, I'm gonna come from the inside of the petal. I'm just gonna do these sort of stripes coming down. This is subtle, okay? Then I'm gonna take a little bit of, this is a soft green, this is a prairie green color. And with some prairie green, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna sort of like brush between the petals. So you're just gonna just put a little bit of green here, just between the petals. So that would just gotta give that little bit of green and you're gonna do the same on the, the back here as well. So you're just gonna do a little bit of the green um, between the petals. And then for the calyx, the calyx is going to be dusted with a apple green. So this is actually the same color I use for the leaves, all right? So you're just gonna just brush just a little bit of this apple green color. This will just give a little bit of shading pretty much all over the calyx, all right? So remember, let your calyx dry and then just sort of brush this color uh, all over. Okay, and then that will be the, so that would be how we would do the coloring. Pop this out of the way. And then we're going to uh, steam the sunflower. And when we steam the sunflower, this is going to um, obviously enhance the color, all right? Now, um, especially on the one that has the uh, coffee, if you've used coffee, ground coffee, Remember, steam and coffee gives you espresso, so we don't want to steam this too much, especially in the center, because if you get this center very wet, what's gonna happen is it's gonna turn to coffee, okay? So what you're gonna do here is with the steam, I'm just going to just sort of target really the petals, okay? And then I'm just gonna just target the back. So just gonna give you, and of course, again, this is gonna look quite shiny when you first do this, but this will become more subtle, all right? Because it obviously sits and then it will give you a more of a subtle color. And then I also have here, the other sunflower, now this one I've done on a longer stem. I've actually done this on a full length stem, all right? And this is the sunflower, a little bit like when we think of Van Gogh, obviously, you know, in the famous uh, sunflower painting, this sort of has the one with this more, this sort of color in it, all right? And so again, this one has the semolina or cornmeal. So again, you know, like obviously, if you add a lot of liquid or steam to cornmeal and that, it will become. So again, you're just really just concentrating on just steaming the outside of this. And again, so here you have the sunflower petals, all right? And remember, obviously, these will dry. You know, they won't have this shine to them because obviously they're not shining in real life. But once it sits for a little while, that will have the um, that. So um, in the next segment, I'm going to show you how to finish off a sunflower in a more natural way, all right? So I'm going to actually use the sunflowers in different ways. And I'm going to show you how to do a natural stem where we'll attach the leaves to the sunflower, just like when it grows. Um, so if you were doing, say, sunflowers looking like they're growing out of a cake, or if those of you are doing craft with air drying clay or polymer clays, you wanted to do these in a vase or an arrangement in a more natural way, I'm going to show you how we create that natural effect for the sunflower. So I'll see you in a minute. So now we're going to move on to make the natural stem of the sunflower. Now there are several options we have here. Technique I'm going to show you is using some kitchen paper towel and um, or a napkin and we're actually going to thicken up the stem. This is similar technique to how I showed doing the calla lily in my calla lily tutorial for Flower Pro. Um, so we're going to take some uh, paper towel and what I've done here is I've just measured this. So this is about approximately about six centimeters wide by about 13 centimeters long. Okay. Um, and then I have another uh, two pieces, which will be about four and a half centimeters by 13 centimeters long. Now, this will dictate the width, all right? So the 13 centimeters is gonna give you the thickness. Um, and, uh, but as I said, the, uh, the depth here, all right, the width, that is actually obviously how we'll have space in between the leaves. So of course, this could vary depending on how long you wanted the stem to be or how much is gonna be exposed. So what we're gonna do here is just draw this out, you know, with a ruler and then just gonna cut this with scissors. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is just gonna thicken up the stem. But this is a technique I use when I'm doing branches like for bonsai and when I'm doing, as I said, uh, calla lilies and uh, bird of paradise when I do the strelitzia, the bird of paradise. This is a technique I use. So on this particular sunflower, I have a six by 13, um, four and a half centimeter by 13, four and a half centimeter by 13, okay? Um, so, really, so what I'm gonna do is gonna start off with the taller one. 
I'm going to use a glue stick. So I'm just going to take a school glue stick here. And uh, this is going to just make the tape here sticky. All right, so I'm just going to just put some glue just onto the, just rub that down, just one part of the tape here, like that. And then you're just going to just attach this to the glue. All right. And you see then what I'm going to do here, it's going to make sure that's attached. And then we're going to roll this around the sunflower. Just be a little bit careful of your calyx, all right? Because your calyx is sticking out a little bit here, like that. So it's going to roll around, and around, and around. And then you can just put a little bit of glue onto the napkin here. This will just help to hold it because when I did the cowl, I didn't do this because I was working in a longer piece, but because we're working in sections, it's easier to use a little bit of a glue stick. So now we're going to take some uh, floral tape. So this is full width floral tape. I'm just going to start at the top here. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just tape down the stem like this. It's going to come down to the bottom. Then we're going to go up. Just do this slowly. All right, and it's gonna come up to the top and then you're gonna come back down again. It's gonna do three times. You see, this is going to create the natural thickness of the sunflower, okay? Now at this point, we're gonna build, we're gonna bend the sunflower. So we're gonna take our pair of pliers here and I'm just gonna just sort of bend the head of the sunflower over because a sunflower, when it grows, it of course grows like that facing the, facing out like so, okay? So that will be your first step. Now at that point there, we're going to then going to place a, lay that down carefully. We're going to take two of the smaller size sunflower leaves. So if you haven't watched the tutorial, of course you need to have these made. I'm going to bend this about a centimeter down the stem. Remember these are being thickened, these stems here. So you see the sunflower leaves will sit like this and like this. I'm going to then take those, I'm going to attach those here and here. So those are going to just be attached. So they're going to sort of go sort of almost like slightly opposite each other. I'm going to take a little bit more floral tape. Just be careful when you're putting these in. All right, and so you're going to attach the sunflower leaves here. I'm just going to open these out. So the leaves will come out like this, okay? Just gonna just tape down just a little way just to secure those. So this is a really stunning presentation if you wanted it looking like it's growing. I mean, you could, of course, on a cake, you can actually like do a flower pot cake and then have it like a sunflower growing. Now we're gonna use one of the thinner pieces, all right? Now you can also put the glue onto the, if it's easy, you can also put the glue onto the paper towel as well. So this is the thinner, this is the four and a half centimeter piece. Again, same concept. But I said for craft as well, this is really excellent because it sort of gives you that much more natural look to the sunflower. Just gonna put a little bit of glue onto here. It's just, it's quite heavy. So you just have to sort of, you know, watch what's happening with your hands. And then again, we're gonna now just tape and we're gonna come down, up and down. And then we're gonna come down for the third, third time. All right, so you can see how we're now building up the stem of the sunflower. Just lay that down very, very carefully, you know. And then now we're gonna take the two, these are the large leaves, all right? So I'm just gonna just bend those at a slight angle. So we'll have my two large leaves. Okay. And then these large leaves are going to sit into position. And these are gonna go into the back here. Okay. 
So I'm going to have these just slightly staggered on here. And I'll have the second one is going to sit here like so. Okay, so these are going to sit And then we're just going to just tape down, tape down here. Again, just tape down just a little bit to secure those. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do my last, my last little um, piece. So this is another four and a half centimeter piece. So basically anything that's exposed, like out of a cake, or out of a vase, so you want to make the stem look natural because in real life the sunflowers have these thick um, stems on them and so here we're going to take the there we go, and we're just going to do the last little bit here all right so if you were presuming that you know this was going to go into a cake obviously this would be you know if a cake is seven and a half or ten centimeters tall or a flower pot might be you know 15 centimeters tall uh, you just would cut this part to the length of the cake and then of course just like on um, my finishing touches video, you know, which I show, you would use a uh, like a bubble tea straw or a large straw to insert this into the cake. But the part that would actually come out from the cake would, of course, be um, that would be uh, have the uh, thicker the thicker stem. Okay, and this will be your last piece here. And like, of course, if you're doing like a flower pot cake, a really nice way to finish that off is to use like chocolate cookie crumb and uh, to look like dirt and uh, it's a really nice uh, presentation like for example for a man's birthday cake it's a very natural way you know to do like a flower pot cake so you just do it in a sort of terracotta color um, and then you would uh, you know have the, the sunflower growing out of the cake so then you're just going to come up like this and then back down again like so Okay, so this means your actual stem of your sunflower is going to have the thickness. And then what I would do is I would just continue coming down the stem. I'm going to leave this as a long stem sunflower, so I'm going to have my stem coming down here like so. And then you're going to just have your sunflower leaves here. Um, so your sunflower obviously has its natural growing. Uh, this is sort of how it would grow, all right? Because the sunflower leaves sort of come up in pairs um, on the back of the, the flower. Now at this point here, I'm going to use my, just going to use the back of my scissors just to sort of smooth the main part of the stem, especially on this last part, which is a little bit thicker. And then I'm going to take some green, okay? So I'm going to actually, just so everything matches, I'm going to take some of the apple green color dust. And then with the apple green color dust, I'm going to just going to brush over the surface of this so that the stem will match. Remember my leaves are nice and dry, so obviously you know, so just going to put just a little bit of the green here, like so. Then I'm going to just uh, steam this. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly steam this. And then once you steam this, we're going to then, um, you would need to do this in obviously, a, you know, in a, cleaned off area with sort of protection on the table, but you're just going to lightly spray the stem. Um, and uh, so you're just going to just steam the stem of the, so just, just gently steam. And that will actually sort of set the powder. So, all right, so that will set the powder onto here. And then usually, you know, you maybe would just take this outside and just lightly spray it. So when you lightly spray, you're just gonna just spray over the stem with the spray lacquer, all right? Um, and uh, what that will do, that will just seal the stem and give the stem a nice natural sheen like the flower. But as I said, you need to do that obviously on a, you have some plastic or paper on your table or just take it outside and just lightly spray it. And when you do that, you want to make sure you don't get the spray onto the flower because obviously the uh, sunflower doesn't want to be shiny, shiny. Remember, this was only steamed a few minutes ago, but this will of course uh, dry 
dye so you'll have your uh, your sunflower but you see a beautiful color on here so of course this could be done with obviously either the one with the chocolate brown center or the one with this lovely yellow color so that is uh, how we will do uh, use do the sunflower uh, with its natural stems you can see this has got obviously your leaves on here and of course you could just do smaller leaves or the smaller and larger leaves depending on how big you wanted to make the spray but a really fun presentation with the sunflower and you can see a really stunning flower so here we've got the two varieties of sunflower obviously i've just shown how to do the natural sunflower with its growing stem uh, with its leaves now other options you have for if you weren't going to include maybe leaves with the sunflower you can also use like tubing this is a little bit like i showed on my calorie instruction this is actually for uh, tubing for aquariums and for oil filters and something you can find online and so this could actually be used and just slide up the wire because the sunflower has a thick stem to emulate that stem so that's again another option. Now, um, when you're using sunflowers, for example, just like on top of a cake where you want it just as a spray, um, then typically what you're gonna do is just attach two or three leaves directly below the spray, of the head of the flower to form a spray. So I'm going to take my uh, sunflower leaves, I'm gonna bend them about two and a half centimeters down. So they come out, because if you put them too close to the sunflower, when you actually are doing a flower spray like this, what will happen is you're not really going to see the leaves in their full impact and then what you would then actually do is you take the leaf and so you'd actually attach this here and just going to start with your floral tape and this is going to just come around so they're going to come down you can see about three centimeters down and then i'm going to take my other two leaves here just going to take one here and one here like this so i've got in this particular spray i have a uh, one large leaf and two small leaves, okay? Remember on the on the sunflower leaf uh, tutorial, I also had the, uh, showed how to make an extra small one, which is made using just the um, top part of the small uh, one. And that would be suitable for the small sunflower. Remember the small sunflower is made with the small center and uh, that's on a separate, um, YouTube video uh, just to sort of show the difference with that. It's basically the same concept, but just obviously a little bit different uh, the way it's put together and also a number of petals. So here you're just going to just take this down and this would be ready then to sort of sit onto a cake and of course you could add the small sunflowers with this. Um, you could just do two leaves, you know, depends a little bit on your design of your cake. Uh, but here we have the, the sort of sunflower uh, just with its uh, standard uh, leaves arranged around it. So you can see here you've got the, obviously, sunflower with the here. And then you have the, obviously, the beautiful sunflower growing. Just to show the two varieties. So remember, this one is done in cream and dusted. And then obviously this is the one done in brown and then painted. So you get that sort of more of a solid look, a little like lighter look. But remember, there are many varieties of sunflowers. So, you know, have fun with coloring, changing out colors. You know, some of them can be more orange because in the summertime, you typically may be going to use more of the yellows, but you could do more of the sort of, there's a, a beautiful orange and like a burgundy colored one, um, like the Calla League I showed in my Calla League um, YouTube for Flower Pro. So there's one that's that sort of color. So in autumn, fall time, you can do some beautiful rich colors on your sunflower. So I hope you'll have a lot of fun with using the sunflower. Um, obviously part of the sunflower and daisy, ultimate sunflower and daisy uh, mold. And uh, obviously love to see all of your photographs of all your beautiful creations on our Facebook group. So I'll see you real soon. So sweet wishes until next time. This has been Nicholas Lodge.